Today, as we celebrate the miracle of Hanukkah, discover how you can experience all of the blessings and joy of this wondrous celebration, even as a believer in Jesus. Just ahead on Jewish Voice. I'm continuing my teaching this week on Hanukkah, which is the Feast of Dedication, also known as the Festival of Lights. And this is not a story you find in the Old Testament. In fact, it took place during a time known as the Intertestamental Period, which was a 400-year period before the completion of what we know today as the Old Testament, or we Jews call it the Tanakh, the Torah, the Writings and the Prophets, the Jewish Scriptures, and the writing of the New Testament. And it's an incredible story of God's deliverance of the Jewish people at a time where they were under the bondage of Syria. Later Rome, but at this time in about 167 BC under the Syrian ruler Antiochus Epiphanes IV. And I shared yesterday that Antiochus Epiphanes was in fact a type of Antichrist. He desecrated the temple in Jerusalem. He sacrificed a pig on the altar. He stopped sacrifices and he set up a statue of Zeus and they actually worshiped foreign gods in a desecrated temple. This was a very difficult time in the story uh, or history of Israel. The, the uh, children of Israel were persecuted. Men, women, and children were being slaughtered. This was another uh, attempt on the part of Satan himself to destroy the Jewish people. And the story continues in a little town called Modin. It's a, a, a small town that exists today just north of Jerusalem. In fact, it's right near Ben Gurion Airport. It's been reestablished and resettled. It's an amazing thing to see the city that's spoken about in these ancient texts, the book of Maccabees, over 2,000 years old. And there was an officer of the, the, the Syrian king Antiochus that commanded the assembled Jews there to bow down to heathen gods and to actually sacrifice swine to these foreign gods. And when we read in the book of Maccabees that a, an aged priest, an elderly priest named Mattathias from the house of Hasmon, which later became the Hasmoneans, the, the kingly line, struck and killed the first Jew about to comply with the order. So this was Kadosh Hashem, the sanctification of God. Then he and his five sons killed the officer and all of the Syrian soldiers Mattathias died shortly after this happened, and his oldest son, Judah, known as Judah Maccabee, uh, this was his, his nickname, Judah the Hammer, because he was obviously a great warrior, and he became the leader of a guerrilla band called the Maccabees. And some say this is the first example of guerrilla warfare in history. This little ragtag band under the leadership of Judah the Maccabee, Judah the Hammer, who was an amazing fighter, uh, actually ended up defeating the Syrians, a, gr a world power. And they actually delivered the children of Israel out of the hand of the Syrians. And this is a great miracle that we celebrate at Hanukkah and then the temple which I shared earlier had been uh, desecrated. Uh, pigs had been sacrificed. The blood had been spilled in the Holy of Holies. Other gods had been worshiped was now rededicated by the children of Israel under the Maccabees. And that is what we celebrate. We, we celebrate the dedication or the rededication of the temple in Jerusalem. Now, interesting fact that originally the Jewish people couldn't fight on the Sabbath and they were being massacred because they offered no resistance. But it was the Maccabees who issued a ruling that for Jewish survival, resistance on the Sabbath was permitted only for defense. And uh, they couldn't attack, but they could defend. And Israel uh, today continues to abide by this and, of course, fights, if necessary, on Sabbath to defend the nation of Israel. And so this form of guerrilla warfare brought deliverance back in 164 BC. And we celebrate the dedication of the temple and the defeat of the Syrians uh, with, with this um, guerrilla ragtag group. And it takes place on the 25th of Keslev, which is December 6th this year. 
the children of Israel under Judah, the Maccabees enter the temple. This is exactly three years, in fact, after its defilement. They clean the desecrated altar. They rebuild what was torn down. They smash the idols. The sanctuary was reconstructed. And from this event, the cleansing and rededication of the temple, we get Hanukkah, the celebration of the supernatural defeat of Israel's enemies and the restoration of the temple. Coming up, a segment from a past Hanukkah here in our studio that includes kids. My kids, in fact, are part of the audience. I'll be sharing the Hanukkah story with them, something you don't want to miss. Here at Jewish Voice, we are dedicated to proclaiming the gospel, the good news that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah, to the Jew first and also to the nations. One key way we do this is by providing humanitarian aid to some of the neediest people in the world. In helping them, we share God's love and the good news of Yeshua, Jesus. Today, Jewish Voice is urgently preparing to bring life-saving medical aid to a poor community in Tachgayat, Ethiopia, the Beta Israel, a faithful and forgotten people who have been practicing ancient Jewish customs for hundreds of years. We need your help to make this vital life-saving outreach possible. Will you be a blessing to these wonderful people and the thousands of others in desperate need? The elderly, children, infants, and toddlers could die for lack of basic medical care. You can help save lives, but we must act now. Call or click right now to help us save lives. And with your gift of any amount, We'll say thank you by sending you a life-transforming devotional by Rabbi Jonathan Burnus, confessing the Hebrew scriptures. Adonai Hu Shalom. The Lord is peace. This book will teach you how to gain peace in your life, free from anxiety, worry, and fear by confessing the Hebrew scriptures, all without any training or previous knowledge of the Hebrew language. Along with this book, we also want you to have this informative mini book by Rabbi Jonathan Burnus. Hanukkah, Feast of Dedication. You'll learn the significance of Hanukkah and what believers should know about this Jewish holiday. If God has blessed you with the means to share a gift of $125 or more today to help bless some of the neediest people on earth, we'll send you all of the gifts just mentioned and this specially designed Yeshua menorah. This decorative piece features a cityscape of the holy city, Jerusalem, and is inscribed with the name Yeshua. It serves as a great reminder that Jesus came as a light unto the world and that he will one day return to Jerusalem. We also want you to have this keepsake replica of an antique clay oil lamp. Similar to the lamps used during Jesus' time on earth, this serves as a powerful reminder that your support of Jewish voice helps shine the light of Yeshua throughout the world. This lamp also comes with this anointing oil from the Holy Land, infused with myrrh and frankincense. You can use it to minister healing prayer and blessings to those you love. Please remember, God has promised to bless those who bless the Jewish people, to share a gift in support of this humanitarian aid, and to help countless others around the globe. Please call or click now. And remember, your generous gift will make you a part of providing life-saving medical help to some of the neediest people on earth. Once again, time is of the essence for many of these people. Please call or click right now. Today, as we celebrate the miracle of Hanukkah, discover how you can experience all of the blessings and joy of this wondrous celebration, even as a believer in Jesus. Just ahead on Jewish Voice. We love the holiday season here at Jewish Voice, and uh, I wanted to share something we did a, a few years ago. We invited the staff to bring their children to join me for reading of the Hanukkah story, including my kids, by the way. It's going to be interesting to see them a couple of years younger. It was a lot of fun, and we thought that you'd really get a kick out of it. Take a look. Everybody ready for the story of Hanukkah? Okay, here we go. The story of Hanukkah. A long, long time ago, there was a king, and his name was Antiochus. You say it like this, Antiochus. Everybody say that, Antiochus. Very good. And King Antiochus ruled over all the people of Israel. 
But the king had a hard heart. He made a law that everyone in the land had to pray to all his gods. But this did not stop the Jews. There was a brave man named Matthias. He lived in the village of Modin near Jerusalem. Matthias had five sons and still prayed to one God. Everybody hold up one, one God. The king also heard about Matthias' family. He heard what Matthias and the other Jews were doing, breaking the law, praying to one God, following Jewish ways. King Antiochus became even madder. He sent his army to Modin to kill the Jews. For three years, the Jews fought the king's army. Mattathias died, but his son, son, Judah Maccabee, became their leader. Judah was a great fighter. Under him, the Jews fought long and hard. The king's army was big. Even so, it could not win. The Maccabees just would not give up. In the end, the king's men gave up and left. You see, they were victorious. Okay, yay. What a great day. Judah led everyone to Jerusalem. Now they would take back their temple. They would make it beautiful again. They would make it holy once more. All the Jews would be able to pray there again. Special prayers were said, and then it was time to light the great menorah. And we have our great menorah here. But there was only one jar of oil. It was a small jar of holy oil. It was all the Jews could find. The jar held enough oil for just one day. Still, the lights kept on burning for eight days. It was a miracle. And since that time, Jews have celebrated the holiday of Hanukkah. On the last night, eight candles are lit, eight nights to remind us of the miracle of the oil and to remind us of brave Judah Maccabee and all the Jews. And that's the story of Hanukkah. Isn't that great? The story of Hanukkah. And now we're gonna light, we're gonna light our Hanukkah menorah. Eight days. We're gonna celebrate tonight. So I'm gonna ask my wife and my kids to come up. We do this is the same way we do it in our home. This is my youngest. This is Liel, my oldest and my youngest, Hannah. Liel, come right up with your mother. And we'll sing the prayer that we sing at home in Hebrew. Baruch Adonai. Sing with us if you know it. Eloheinu melech olam. Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav. Vitsivanu la hadlik ner shel Hanukkah. Blessed are you, O Lord, King of the universe, who has sanctified us and commanded us to kindle the lights of Hanukkah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, honey. Okay, and we're going to do one more thing that's our tradition. We're gonna play dreidel. So everybody get their dreidels from underneath their chairs. And this is a, a little game we play. It's a tradition. And there's four Hebrew letters that all that stand for this statement. Nes gadol hayah sham. Everybody say, we'll try it together. Nes, nes gadol hayah sham. And that means a great miracle happened there. It's talking about the oil burning for eight days. So everybody get ready and let's spin together. One, two, three, spin. Look at that. There you go. I got hay, which means half. There's a nun for, and everybody had something different. And we have some little gifts for you. Who wants Hanukkah cookies? Okay, we got Hanukkah cookies. And guess what else we have? You know what this is? Yeah, these are, this, this is Hanukkah gelt. These are coins, but it's not real money, it's chocolate. So everybody come on up, get your chocolate. That was a lot of fun to watch. We'll be right back. Here at Jewish Voice, we are dedicated to proclaiming the gospel. 
the good news that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah to the Jew first and also to the nations. One key way we do this is by providing humanitarian aid to some of the neediest people in the world. In helping them, we share God's love and the good news of Yeshua, Jesus. Today, Jewish Voice is urgently preparing to bring life-saving medical aid to a poor community in Tachgayat, Ethiopia, the Beta Israel, a faithful and forgotten people who have been practicing ancient Jewish customs for hundreds of years. We need your help to make this vital life-saving outreach possible. Will you be a blessing to these wonderful people and the thousands of others in desperate need? The elderly, children, infants, and toddlers could die for lack of basic medical care. You can help save lives, but we must act now. Call or click right now to help us save lives. And with your gift of any amount, we'll say thank you by sending you a life-transforming devotional by Rabbi Jonathan Burnus, confessing the Hebrew scriptures. Adonai Hu Shalom. The Lord is peace. This book will teach you how to gain peace in your life, free from anxiety, worry, and fear by confessing the Hebrew scriptures, all without any training or previous knowledge of the Hebrew language. Along with this book, we also want you to have this informative mini book by Rabbi Jonathan Burnus, Hanukkah, Feast of Dedication. You'll learn the significance of Hanukkah and what believers should know about this Jewish holiday. If God has blessed you with the means to share a gift of $125 or more today to help bless some of the neediest people on earth, we'll send you all of the gifts just mentioned and this specially designed Yeshua menorah. This decorative piece features a cityscape of the holy city, Jerusalem, and is inscribed with the name Yeshua. It serves as a great reminder that Jesus came as a light unto the world and that he will one day return to Jerusalem. We also want you to have this keepsake replica of an antique clay oil lamp. Similar to the lamps used during Jesus' time on earth, this serves as a powerful reminder that your support of Jewish voice helps shine the light of Yeshua throughout the world. This lamp also comes with this anointing oil from the Holy Land, infused with myrrh and frankincense. You can use it to minister healing prayer and blessings to those you love. Please remember, God has promised to bless those who bless the Jewish people, to share a gift in support of this humanitarian aid, and to help countless others around the globe. Please call or click now. And remember, your generous gift will make you a part of providing life-saving medical help to some of the neediest people on earth. Once again, time is of the essence for many of these people. Please call or click right now. A very important part of what we do here at Jewish Voice is to provide medical care and clean water to Jewish communities and their neighbors in some of the poorest places on earth. Many of the people that we help have never even seen a doctor or a dentist. They're alone and they're often forgotten. Now one such community is the Beta Israel or the House of Israel in Ethiopia. We recently traveled there to provide free medical, dental, and eye care. And most importantly, many came to know Jesus, Yeshua, as their Messiah and Savior. People walked for miles when they heard about the clinic. Take a look at a clip from our recent medical clinic in Gondar, Ethiopia. To many, this community may seem insignificant, but in fact, the discovery of these people and their recognition by the Israeli government is seen by some as a fulfillment of Bible prophecy. God promised that one day he would regather the remnant of Israel from all the nations they have been scattered and bring them back to their land. And although Israel has opened their doors to more than 100,000 Ethiopian Jews, thousands more remain unwelcome due to controversy over their conversion to Orthodox Christianity in generations past. Yet without proper medical care and medicines, many of these people will never be able to make the journey back to their homeland. Jewish Voice Ministries has made it their mission to travel to remote areas of the world, like here in Gondar, to provide free medical, dental, and eye clinics to these impoverished Jewish communities in the hopes that they will survive and flourish and one day return to the land of their fathers. 
Tom, Tom. Thank you for being so patient. Thank you for being so patient. Look at these precious people. Many of them are Jewish. Thank you for your patience. Welcome. Welcome. We're going to help you. We're going to help you now. Thank you for waiting. Go right on in. You know, <laughs> we're treating thousands of people this week. Between 12 and 15,000 people will go through this three-foot uh, doorway, this, this gate. I, I'm reminded of sc the scripture that says the, the way to salvation is, is a narrow path and a narrow door that leads to salvation. But Yeshua, Jesus said, I am the door. If you enter me, through me, you will find life. And that's why we're doing this, so people can find life. We want them to go through this door so they can find the true door, Yeshua, Jesus. And it's your partnership, welcome, that makes it possible for us to open up this door of life for thousands of people here in Gondar, Ethiopia. So I wanna say thank you. Thank you on behalf of all of us at Jewish Voice for helping us to help these precious people go through this door and find the true life that's found through Yeshua, the door of life. Word spreads quickly of Jewish Voices Medical Clinic around Gondar, and the people begin to trek from miles around to get this free help. Because so many live in isolated rural areas and without a proper census, it's difficult to estimate how many of the Beta Israel remain here, but there are thousands. I put her down as no, all right, just walking in with her. It is very difficult to say how much are still here in Ethiopia and Gondar, but it is estimated 20,000 and even more because you now uh, it is very difficult to make census because they live in the remote area and we think there are more than 20,000 remaining here in Gondar. Doctors on the front lines determine the condition of each person. Those with life-threatening conditions are expedited to the front of the line to receive immediate care. Let's ban these people in this whole line so we could walk them up, okay? Uh, my guys walk the medical lines to get the chronically ill people so we could push them to the front of the line. Volunteer pediatricians from many nations travel with Jewish Voice to treat children just like these in Gondar from providing the most basic pediatric care to treating children who are chronically ill and dying, Jewish Voice hasn't forgotten the smallest and perhaps most vulnerable descendants of these scattered tribes of Israel. Many are also lined up today, some for the first time ever, to receive free dental care that's part of every Jewish Voice clinic outreach. Volunteer dentists work tirelessly to help as many patients as they can on each trip. But the opportunity to provide such necessary and sometimes life-saving care is second only to the opportunity Jewish Voice has to transform lives spiritually by proclaiming the good news of salvation in Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah. The medical care and dental care and eye care that we provide completely free of charge is a way to earn a platform to share our faith because ultimately the most important thing is not physically helping them although that's important and it stands by itself but it's it's meeting their spiritual needs so that's why we do this uh, I heard this adage as a child it's always stuck with me people don't care what you know until they know that you care Tom, Tom, thank you for being so patient. Thanks for coming. Hi. Come right on in. As a result of these important humanitarian and spiritual outreaches, like this one here in Ethiopia, teams of volunteer medical professionals dedicated to blessing the Jewish people have witnessed tens of thousands of transformed lives and miracles of healing. A Muslim lady, just by the love that I showed her, wanted to know the God that I served purely by my love that she was suffering so tremendously and I held her in my arms and I even cried with her. It was just the right time I said, God, thank you because you let me know that what I'm doing is exactly what you want me to do. And just like Jonathan Burnett says, it's not what you say, it's what you do. 
We're gonna help you today. Yes, we are. <laughs> I'm gonna, if I could take them home with me, if I could take them all home with me, I would do it. But, but I can't. I can't, and I want to do as much as I can. That's what the volunteers that are with me feel. We want to do as much as we possibly can. And it's like digging in sand because more come. You treat thousands and more come because the need is so great. Believing we are living in the days God promised to restore the Jewish people physically and spiritually, Jonathan Burness is passionate to see the fulfillment of Israel's destiny, to return to their land and to their God. Outreaches like the one you just saw are making an impact on so many lives. And not just those who receive the aid, but also for those who come with us to help. Now there's a cost involved, but believe me, it will be worth every dollar. You'll be changed forever. We'd love to share how you can be part of an upcoming outreach. So contact us at 800-299-9374 or go to jewishvoice.tv. Imagine celebrating the miraculous power of the Passover against the breathtaking backdrop of the sparkling Eastern Caribbean Sea on board a luxurious Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Rejoice at the Messianic Passover Seder led by Rabbi Jonathan Burness, remembering God's mighty hand delivered the Jewish people from bondage. Worship because the miracle held a mystery revealed and completed in Yeshua, Jesus, the Passover lamb, an ultimate sacrifice for our sins. This is the Jewish Voice seven-day Passover cruise on the turquoise waters of the Eastern Caribbean and the enchanting white sand islands of St. Martin, St. Thomas, and Nassau, Bahamas. You don't want to miss the beauty, worship, and celebration as we share the mystery and the miracle of the Passover on the seas. Join Jonathan Burness and Jewish Voice April 16th through 23rd, 2016. Cabin Space is limited. Book now for the best rooms and rates. Call or click today. As we close out the show today, I want to remind you, as I always do, to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Psalm 122.6 declares, May they who love you prosper. So if you want to prosper, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And they need our prayers now more than ever. Until next time, I'm Jonathan Burnus saying, God richly bless you. Since 1967, Jewish Voice has provided humanitarian aid around the world while proclaiming the good news that Yeshua, Jesus, is Messiah and Savior to the Jew first and also to the nations. Jewish Voice has demonstrated God's love by providing medical care, eye care, and dental care, all free of charge, to some of the most impoverished people in the world. Your faithful support makes all of this possible. So please partner with us. Your generous gift helps transform lives by sharing God's love with those who desperately need it. Just call, click, or write. Thank you, and pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee.